Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to English with Shalini. And in this today's video, we are going to discuss water pollution. This is chapter 11 um, in your English language course for, uh, for second year. First of all, we will discuss a brief summary. Then we will go for question and answers. So this lesson, Water Pollution, uh, has been written by Rachel Larson. And uh, this is a part of the larger work uh, which he has written that is Silent Spring. So these are the uh, some parts from that Silent Spring. Here, what is the summary? Water pollution cannot be studied separately without taking the whole environmental pollution of mankind into consideration. Uh, pollution in uh, water is due to many factors. Radioactive waste from many institutions, fallout from the explosives, domestic waste of towns and cities and chemical waste from the factories are the main sources of water pollution. Now chemical sprays also contribute to this water pollution. The problem of water pollution has increased greatly since the invention of synthetic chemicals. This has increased many dangers. Due to synthetic chemicals, a lot of chemical waste is thrown into water which mixes with the domestic waste. It cannot be purified by ordinary methods. Uh, so these chemicals cannot be uh, separated from water by simple methods. These uh, waste create junk, junk in river water which are very difficult for even uh, identification rather than its elimination. Means even you are not able to identify the uh, pollution in water, then what about the elimination? Its effect are also not well known to the people. Now, uh, chemicals used for controlling insects and small animals like rats adds to the water pollution. Some chemicals are used to destroy insects in water plants and to protect trees. Now, uh, they also increase water pollution. All these chemicals you uh, increase water pollution to highest degree. Such chemicals are also found in streams and other means of water supply used for drinking. It was uh, confirmed by a survey, a research carried out in Pennsylvania. Water was tested in Tennessee Valley also, which proved that water remained contaminated even after a week of application of chemicals. For a long time, water pollution remained unseen. But it was detected when a lot of fish died there. It is uh, a fact that when Ever pesticides are used, something remains in water and that causes harm. The, pol the problem of water is a grave, a serious matter. One is uh, even groundwater gets contaminated. Means not just the surface water is contaminated, but even the groundwater is contaminated which we use for the drinking purpose. It is really difficult to use pesticide to make this free from pollutants. This pollution makes all water polluted which goes to river and stream also. So this is the short summary of this essay, water pollution. And uh, now we are going to discuss the question answer so that you can uh, understand it and come and do it properly. So, uh, let's move forward. Answer the question sentence. Uh, answer the following questions. Is the problem of pollution connected with the whole mankind? Yes, the problem of pollution is connected with the whole mankind. In how many ways does pollution enter the waterways? There are many ways. The answer is there are many sources of water pollution such as radioactive waste from uh, reactors, laboratories, hospitals, fallout from nuclear explosions, 
डोमेस्टिक वेस्ट फ्रॉम सिटी एंड टाउन्स केमिकल वेस्ट फ्रॉम फैक्ट्रीज दीज आर दी मेन कॉजेस ऑफ वाटर पॉल्यूशन सो देर आर मेनी सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर पॉल्यूशन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वेन डिड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वाटर पॉल्यूशन स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वाटर सोल्यूशन वाटर पॉल्यूशन स्टार्टेड इन द फोर्थ डेकेड ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी मीन्स अर्लियर देर वॉज नॉट मच वाटर पॉल्यूशन बिकॉज देर वॉज नॉट सो मच डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द अर्थ एंड केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स नाउ क्वेश्चन फोर वाट डज द ऑथर रिफर्स टू एज ए जंक the author refers to as a junk the sticky soft substances in water and these substances are the main cause of water pollution now what example question number 5 what example does the author provide to the evidence of presence of chemical pollutants in rivers and waterways so how he proves it Uh, that author that uh, who is the author rachel carson he has written this uh, uh, essay the author represent the water of an orchard area in pennsylvania in america and in tennessee river in albana to provide of the uh, evidence of presence of chemical pollutants in river and waterways so he has uh, done some research work in this uh, america in the tennessee and pennsylvania and uh, through which he has come to some conclusion both water sources in america supply drinking water to many cities but when the sample of these water sources was applied on fish in a laboratory all fish died in a few hours you can see thus the author proves the fact through these two water samples and sudden death of fish in this water so this research have been conducted in america and through they found that water was contaminated in that area now six question 6 how can one know about the presence of pollution in water answer is the sudden death of 100 or 1000 fish in river or stream makes this fact clear that water is highly polluted in that area okay now seven which is most disturbing aspects of water pollution problem then answer is the widespread contamination of ground water is the most disturbing aspects of water pollution problem because ground water is used for drinking purposes so if we are not uh, provided with the clean drinking water what will happen to us now uh, question number 8 does nature operate in closed and separate compartments the yes, answer is no nature never operates in closed and separate compartments it uh it operates in some hole now nine question nine when at slow pace what is the movement of the ground water answer at a slow pace the movement of ground water is not more than 50 feet per year so it is very slow now question number 10 when at when at a pace fast pace means fast speed what is the movement of ground water at a fast pace the movement of ground water is nearly a tenth of a mile in a day now in context of the lesson uh, say which of the following statement are true or false so uh, the problem of water pollution by now we will have uh, that uh, question of true and false uh the, so the first statement is the problem of water pollution by pesticide can be understood only in context yes we can understand the problem of uh, water pollution uh, by pesticide uh, in by the context of pesticide because it is a very very great cause of water pollution so answer is true now question not question but a statement uh, to the pollution that enters water comes various ways yes true it comes in various way uh, 
not in just one way there are many sources for water pollution now a statement number 3 radioactive waste come in water from reactors and laboratories but not from hospitals so that is false radioactive active waste also come from hospitals also now there are uh, now four there are little known interactions of chemicals in water so true means there are many interactions of chemical in water there are many uh reactions of chemical in water but we are not aware of that so that is true now five ordinary purification plants cannot detect the chemical found in water so that is true purification plant of high degree can only detect the chemical found in water now six professor ralph eliasson worked in massachusetts institute of technology so that is true so this has been uh, written in this uh, lesson water pollution which is a, a, a part of the larger uh, work which, which is silent spring now seven the chemical used for control of rodents etc do not contribute to organic pollutants so that is false means chemicals which are used for rodents for the bacteria and all those uh, things uh, they largely contribute to organic pollutants now eight water from a stream drained draining uh, sprayed cotton field remains lethal for few hours so that is false means water from the stream which are which are draining through the cotton field are uh, lethal or dangerous or fatal for many many uh, month or many many days not just for few hours that is extremely dangerous now nine for the most part the pollution is unseen so yes true we we are uh, not aware of the pollution water pollution especially we think that it is not polluted but it is now 10 the most disturbing aspect of water pollution is that ground water can be contaminated yes true this is most dangerous and most disturbing part because uh, ground water is used for drinking purposes mainly for drinking drinking purposes and if that will be contaminated uh, our very existence will be in danger so uh, this is the lesson and its question answers its summary and uh, uh, i hope this uh, video will be helpful for you if so then please uh, share it with your friends subscribe my channel and once you understand the chapter summary and question answer you can write in your own way in your own words so take care of the punctuation and the spellings thank you so much for watching my video thank you